Hello everyone from the Dakota Zoo for another creature feature. Today we're going to be talking with Keeper Riley about the Chevalsky's horse. Hi everyone, I'm Riley. Uh, here to talk about the P-horses. We call them for short because for Chevalsky is a very big tongue twister, also called the Asian wild horse. Uh, these guys are actually highly endangered. Uh, their numbers actually came from 14 original founders. Back in about 1960, they started a really good breeding program because they went extinct in the wild, unfortunately, due to captive horses being killed during World War II, a couple of harsh winters, as well as poaching and things like that. So they are very precious horses. Uh, the big boy I'm feeding on the right here is Vlad. This is his son, Valen. Um, the female we have in the background there is actually the, I believe, the first. So she's actually on her second offspring here, little Valen. So they're doing pretty good here at the Dakota Zoo, in part because our climate is actually very similar to what they'd be living in. So like I said, they're Asian wild horses found along the steppes of Russia and Mongolia. So that's around the same latitude that we have. And so uh, they're actually quite comfortable here in North Dakota. As you can see, even though Vlad is a fully grown, pea horse. He's actually quite short and kind of stocky. He has some longer fur that he's shedding at this time of the year. That's because he's actually built for tough winters like we have. We don't have to really worry about them out here in North Dakota, even though it gets well below zero a lot of times in our winters, as I'm sure you're aware, because they're actually pretty well built for that kind of thing. We just kind of give them a little extra hay to help them through the winter, but other than that, they're perfectly fine. Great. And they are considered one of the only wild horses left. Unlike North American wild horses, those were actually brought in as domesticated horses by Europeans that were let loose and left to kind of roam and propagate on their own. These guys are actually thought to have never been domesticated in the wild. Cool. So do you want to talk a little bit about the that are part of an SSP and what that means? So being part of an SSP means that they're part of a species survival program. So zoos as part of AZA as well as other facilities like ourselves um, actually help to go between different zoos and make sure that we have proper genetics that are going around they're not getting too inbred like I said there were 14 original founder individuals these guys are actually descended from them and because of programs like SSPs uh, they actually are able to make sure that they're not getting too inbred not getting anything like diseases or uh, defects built up in their lineages so SSPs are very important for animals like pea horses because even though there are about 2,000 currently in the world right now, their populations I believe are under 300 in the wild. So it's important that we still keep a good stock of uh, genetic diversity in captivity to make sure that we're able to keep helping them along out in the wild and being able to reintroduce them, which at some point uh, some of their offspring here might actually end up heading back over towards Russia and uh, Middle Asia. So pretty important to have uh, things like SSPs going around. Great. Well, thanks for tuning in for another creature feature. We're excited uh, for people to come um, and see all of our critters again once we can reopen. Um, so stay home, stay healthy, um, and tune in for other features this week.